you get an episode, and you get an episode. This week we see both Vex and Grog take centre stage, as this season continues to focus on all of the wondrous oddball characters that make up Vox Machina. G'day, welcome to the Nerdy Dad channel. Let's talk about the 7th, 8th and ninth episodes of Vox Machina. And you, you can help me make this a, an actual discussion by telling me what you think about the episodes down in the comments. The three episodes that screen this week are The Fey Realm, directed by Young Heller, Echo Tree, directed by Alicia Chan, and A Test of Pride, directed by Eugene Lee. Season 1 spent a lot of time focusing on Percy's family and backstory. And don't get me wrong, I love Season 1. But I also love that this season we're getting episodes that focus on the backstories of all, all of the other wonderfully crafted characters that we enjoy every week. As I'm talking about what happens in these episodes, I suppose I should throw out a spoiler warning for those who are worried about that. I did say up top, we are talking about the episodes. I like that last week Caleb was forced to confront her father, the quest she'd been putting off, and her fears. Equally, this week we see an episode where we meet Vex and Vax's father, and Vex has to confront her feelings about the way her father treated them in her childhood, as well as her constant need for validation. Not to mention that Vax gets to teach her half-sister a very important lesson. What does fuck you mean? Oh, and Vox Machina managed to get their hands on another vestige in the process. Hey, that's a cool bow, Vex. I'm also enjoying Percy's developing relationship with Vex, and the continuation of Vax's thread, where his link to the Matron of Ravens is pulling him away from the rest of Vox Machina. Or at least he thinks that it's pulling him away from them. At least Percy realises what's going on, and he's promised to stick by Vax no matter what. Look, as we saw in Season 1... I also know something about carrying darkness. I loved everything going on in the Fey Realm, but possibly the more impactful stuff for me is what's going on in Tal'Dori. The show deals with one of the threads that's been building all season. After stabbing Pike in last week's episode into Rhinecleft, Grog confronts Craven Edge, but at a cost. There is time spent on what could be a budding relationship between Pike and Scanlan. It manages to be cute and sweet in this show? Wow. Especially with what we've seen Scanlan get up to in the past. But what's really got me in these three episodes is Grog's growth. Confronting Craven Edge, losing his defining characteristic being his strength, and dealing with the shame of his marauder past growing up. Two, what they've set up to happen next week, which is confronting his uncle and obtaining a vestige. I'll get back to you on how that encounter happens next week, but that's the cliffhanger they've left us on at the end of A Test of Pride. Captain! Remember me. This week seemed to have less toilet humour and more heart than some previous episodes. I say that, and then I remember that this episode had Scanlan shoving a herbal remedy right up Grog's backside, and a young child asking what fuck off means. I continue to love this series and the way it builds its characters and weave plot threads that eventually have to lead back to the Chroma Conclave, right? So far, the rogue has a cape, the ranger has a bow. Hang on, does that remind you of any other D&D properties? Ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? That's about all I've got for tonight, but let's keep talking about it down in the comments. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe to the channel right here. This is the Nerdy Dad, signing off.